The Duchess of Despair doesn't know when to stop. New reports claim Meghan Markle will turn to reality TV. Hello and welcome to Princess Diana's news channel. Yacht girl, cable TV actress, fake humanitarian, I mean, is there anything the Duchess of Hypocrisy can't do? And now the Daily Star and Mirror are reporting that Meghan Markle will join the Kardashians and make an appearance on their Hulu reality series that I think we can classify this as news that we won't even bother to make up because it's absolutely ridiculous. But you can always look it up yourself. The report is available in the Daily Star and also in the Mirror. Then the Daily Star made headlines with Meghan Markle considering going on reality TV after Mother's Day with Kim Kardashian. Now, if you're still confused about how the Kardashians were forced to pose for that one photo with Doria recently, meaning Meghan is a reality TV star, then don't worry, you're not alone. I too am quite confused. But either way, according to a source, Meghan Markle herself, that's exactly what's happening here. Thus, according to the Daily Star article, the Duchess of Sussex Meghan Markle is considering making an appearance on the popular Hulu show, the Kardashians. The Mirror article, however, is even funnier. So, in the Mirror, they write, Meghan Markle and her husband, Prince Harry, have been busy networking with some A-list celebrities, and it looks like it might have paid off for the Duchess of Sussex, the couple was recently spotted alongside TV royalty Oprah Winfrey as they attended a high-profile charity event hosted by Kevin Costner. Oh, you mean the one where they had to take Meghan's microphone away before she could give the speech? You mean that same event where even Kevin Costner stood up and criticized Meghan Markle for having no manners for asking really inappropriate questions about the value of her property? Is this the event you are referring to? I'm doing well but they go on to claim that Harry and Meghan also stopped for a selfie with Katy Perry's parents at the actor's 1805 live charity event. Oh wow pose for a photo with Katy Perry's parents. I think they know now that they did it. They'll definitely be on the A-list if they manage to get a photo with Katy Perry's parents. What a dream come true. I in the mirror, Scarlett O'Toole writes, Meghan has since met the famous Kardashian family at a VIP champagne party for Beyonce's birthday in Los Angeles. Wait. Was this the same birthday concert where Meghan showed up in that photo with Kelly Rowland and Kerry Washington and then they deleted it? And we're supposed to believe that this is proof that Meghan Markle has reached the stars of Hollywood? And why did they bother to mention Oprah? I thought they had been friends with Oprah for a long time now, but still, it doesn't matter. You have to accept that this is proof that they are part of the Hollywood elite, guys. It's not like they're outcasts or anything like that. It's not that people avoid them like the plague. But oh, you see, if they weren't among the A listeners, then how could Doria have celebrated with the Kardashians? Ms. O'Toole also reminds us that Meghan's mother, Doria Ragland, also celebrated with Kris Jenner and Kim Kardashian at the annual This Is About Humanity party in August. Oh, well, okay then. I mean, obviously Meghan's big Hollywood comeback is happening. How else could you see your mother partying with the Kardashians, and then, a source who may or may not be Ms. Markle herself said that Kris Jenner was trying to, quote, bring Meghan and Harry into the mainstream. Well, they've been trying to break into the mainstream for years now and they still haven't succeeded. I know Kris Jenner is a magician who knows how to make people famous without doing anything, but I suspect these two are a lost cause for her too. And then we learn, oh, they also revealed the source, which by the way is probably Megan or maybe Scooby-Doo, but anyway, this source revealed that Megan might surprise her fans, okay, both with a special appearance on the Kardashians, as well as fashion collaborations with the famous family. I don't know about y'all, but I'd like to see it. So what exactly would his cameo consist of? Please tell me this would involve Meghan Markle giving a speech of some sort. I mean, I think it could really help these Kardashian girls. With what, I have no idea but I'm sure he could find something. 
Personally, I think this is a great idea. After all, Meghan and the Kardashians have so much in common. They are such ordinary and relatable people. Everyone loves them, they are so simple. They're just two normal moms. I have an idea. How about a game night between some of Kim Kardashian's kids on Artificial and Invisibet? Wouldn't that be the cutest thing, I wonder though how Meghan might spend it to her advantage because, you know, the Kardashian kids are biracial too. I can only assume that Meghan is saying that no member of Hollywood's elite allows their children to play with hers because of the color of their skin. So I wonder how he could spend this money to his advantage. Oh, what is this? Are the Kardashian kids really blacker than Archificial and Invisibet? Well, that'll probably never work then. It is important to allow Meghan to keep her narrative of victimization fully intact. And then I guess Meghan realized that maybe she had said a little too much. So here we have a little nuanced statement. It's no coincidence that the Kardashians all move in the same circles as Meghan's new circle. It's simply an achievement for both families to team up. But Chris doesn't want to attack too aggressively and too soon. The source said, Okay, I think it's pretty clear now who this source is. And the source also said that Chris is willing to wait for the reward in the long run. The long-term payoff is that we can only blame Meghan Markle herself. She's certainly desperate for this to happen, as the source, aka Meghan, said the opportunities would be endless if Meghan teamed up with the Kardashian-Jenner clan. They described it as the power of the stars. I would, however, like to know more about Meghan's fashion collaboration idea. How will it happen? Because to my knowledge, the two women are actually quite opposite in their clothing choices. Now, okay, I'll be the first to say that I'm not a fan of Kim Kardashian's fashion sense. But at the same time, I agree that he has the look he's going for, and that look, I have to admit, is pretty well executed. His clothes always fit him very, very, very well. This fills them out pretty well. That's more than can be said for Dutch's chicken legs. Megan's fashion sense, on the other hand, is pretty predictable. She likes to stick to a theme. Baggy, wrinkled, too big, ill-fitting, clothes he's not allowed to wear, clothes that make his strange square body even weirder. So what is it? I don't even know, I mean, there are so many possibilities. And after reading this article, I also started to wonder, what happened to Meghan's political career? I thought she was planning to run for Senate and then would run for president. Will this go hand in hand with her new career as a reality TV star or will they go separate ways? I'm not really sure. Or not, I understand. He will begin with this new career in reality TV. And then, once he has won the hearts and minds of all Americans, it will be time for him to run for president. And of course he will win. I mean, he'll get more popular votes than anyone in history. Because then everyone will love him. Finally, finally, we will recognize her for the incredible, incredible queen that she truly is. And guys, he's not even going to run for president. Indeed, she will be elected president first, because after all she believes in democracy, but then the American people will decide that she is so extraordinary that we never want her to leave office. So we will change her title to Queen, the official Queen of the United States for the rest of her life. So even though her jealous sister-in-law is the Queen of England, she has something better. She is the Queen of America. And then, who knows, maybe she can even become the Queen of the world. Nice trajectory, eh? From humble yacht girl, mattress actress, to queen of the world. Well, we never said she wasn't ambitious. Of course, no word on what her hapless husband will do about all this that I guess that will be put aside at that point. I mean, if he can get on the Kardashian show, he probably won't be needed anymore. And you, what do you think of this new fantasy of the Duchess of Illusion? Please let me know your opinion below in the comments section. As always, thank you very much for listening, please like and share this video with anyone else who might enjoy it. And before you go, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more updates from the Princess Diana news team. 
I hope you had a good weekend and I will come back to see you soon.